Ah, yes. Firebug from Killing Floor. One. The, the first one. What a great trash cleaning perk. I absolutely love holding down a single button and watching everything else burn to a crisp. Now, just like all the other perks from Killing Floor, Firebug has a few of their own perk-specific weapons. Five, in fact. Well, technically six, but I don't really count the golden flamethrower as it's only a risky and not a new weapon. Anyhow, I decided to put myself to the impossible task of taking five weapons and ranking them from worst to best. Yeah, I know. What a great accomplishment. Before we start, I just want to say disclaimer. I have over 100 hours in the game and I'm level 6 in Firebug, so I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about, but I'm still a human, I make mistakes, so if you have any criticism, feel free to leave it in the comments. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Oh, the Hosk Cannon. It really hurts seeing you all the way down here. This was one of my favorite weapons when I just started playing the game, and I still really love the concept of it, since husks are my favorite enemy in the whole game. Now, I just want to say, none of the firebug weapons are bad, they just range from mediocre to fine. And this one just happens to be really, really mid. And it's easily the weakest one of the entire firebug arsenal, for two easy reasons. The first reason being the fact that the husk cannon costs 4,000 pounds at the base. That's more than all the other weapons prices combined, I'm not even joking. And secondly, even though the weapon costs that much, it does really small damage. It does only fine damage when it's charged up and even then it's not even that good. Overall, 7 out of 10. Last place. This one gives me doom wipes, a shotgun, yes please, but a fire shotgun, oh yes. Joke aside, this weapon is fine by itself, it does pretty good damage and pretty fine at medium and even long range, plus it doesn't even weigh that much, which means you have more space to combo your tools, but the problem is, it doesn't fit firebug at all. It has a slow fire rate, it's not really that good against big hordes of enemies, and it has a really small clip. The weapon itself is fine, it just... it feels really misplaced. Um, 8 out of 10. The Speedfire Flare Revolvers, the only DLC weapon for Firebug, other than the golden flamethrower. Now, like all people who spend money on video games, I have a bias toward this weapon, but even with my money bias, it's still only number 3. Now, don't get me wrong, this weapon is great, especially on more casual difficulties like normal or hard, being really cheap, only 500 at the starting price, and only weighing 2 kilograms plus having really good damage and shooting actual exploding projectiles that set multiple enemies on fire, as well as doing really good headshot damage, being able to easily clear a scrape on hard. So why is it third place? Well, this weapon does have one downside, but it's a huge one. The flare revolvers take a whole 3 seconds to reload, or even a more ridiculous number of 5 seconds if you're dual building which is incredibly dangerous in the first killing floor since you can't shoot or switch weapons when you're reloading, so it's easy to get stuck reloading while getting ambushed. But if you're careful with your ammo management, this weapon is an easy 9 out of 10. Ah, there it is. My number 2 pick. I was debating for a long time between this and the Flare Revolver, and well, the Mach 10 won. Mach 10 at first looks like a really weak and innocent weapon, 
but don't get fooled. Not only is it dirt cheap and extremely light for a tier 3 weapon being only $500 and weighing only 4 kilograms, but it also manages to do its job flawlessly. Having an incredibly fast fire rate and the ability to set enemies on fire from afar, the MAC-10 is a perfect sidearm to your firebug and is a definite 10 out of 10 in this list. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Zeds of all ages. The first place goes to the flamethrower. Honestly, I am not surprised. This weapon, just like for any other pyromaniac in any other game, is always the best for its job. And the killing floor flamethrower is no different. I mean, why do you think the only golden weapon for the firebug is the golden flamethrower? Not only does it melt hordes and hordes of small zeds, it also melts big enemies in seconds. Scrakes are a joke! Even on difficulties as high as suicidal on hell on earth. Just hold M1 and look in their general direction. And if you're a solo player, Patriarch on every difficulty except Hell on Earth is literally just cheese waiting to be grilled. Just weld yourself in a room, look at the exits and press the funny button. Boss be gone. Order now. Oh, and did I mention, the flamethrower has a base of 400 ammo, costs only 750 pounds and it's being literally handed to you if you're a level 5 firebug. The only problems of the flamethrower is the fact that it's extremely heavy and also you cannot see, no, I'm not even joking, your ability to visually process information melts along with all the zeds on your screen. Hmm, speaking of weight, isn't it funny how the flamethrower gives you exactly 4 kilograms of free space? I wonder what I can put there. Hmm. Anyhow, 11 out of 10. It's a really good weapon. The best, in fact. And that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed this non-review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, how would you rank these weapons and uh, what's your favorite perk in Killing for? I'd love to know. And I guess... Have a wonderful day, night, or whatever else time it is for you. And um, remember kids, don't waste fire.